Pre-algebra lesson 107, Roman numerals. Okay, so uh, this is an old form of writing numbers that dates back to the Roman Empire, uh, and it's valuable for us today because it helps us practice building our logical brain. Some people get really frustrated with Roman numerals. They go, why, why do we have to learn this? Nobody uses them anymore. It is a good logical exercise that helps you learn a system that you're entirely unfamiliar with, right? And that's that's part of what your logical brain is constantly doing as you go through life. You're trying to understand systems that you have little or no prior knowledge of, right? And that's what we're doing here with Roman numerals. You probably have a little prior knowledge, but it's it's a foreign system that you don't use every single day, and it really helps your brain practice thinking. So let's, uh, let's start with the symbols and the values that you should already have memorized. The number one is written as I, the number five is written as V, the number X is written as 10, or sorry, Huh, I said that backwards, you know what I meant. Uh, the number 50 is written as L, 100 is C, 500 is D, and 1000 is M, okay? Now, there are some rules uh, to Roman numerals. The first rule is, well, rule number I is no symbol can be repeated more than three times. No symbol can be repeated more than three times. Uh, so what that means is if I wanted to write the number 30, I could write X, 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 right? If I wanted to write uh, the number three, I, or let's say, yeah, we'll say the number three, I could write uh, one, two, three, right? Uh, but I would not ever write the number four like this. That is not the number four, not okay. That brings me to the second rule, which is, uh, if you ever, is the subtraction rule. We'll call this the subtraction rule, okay? The subtraction rule. That means if I wanted to write four, what I would do is I would go to the next uh, bigger symbol from one, the next bigger symbol being five, and instead of writing five, I would write four, so I'd write one, or IV, meaning five minus one. This equals five minus one. Okay, uh, and then this symbol is one number. I know it's two symbols, but it's one number, one idea. That's why I did this in parentheses, okay? Uh, and then this is the third rule. I, I actually made this third rule up because a lot of people have trouble with the bigger uh, numbers of Roman numerals. I'm calling this the place value rule. This is the place value rule, okay? Uh, and this usually comes up when we have multiple uh, four value numbers, right? Uh, so, and then it goes into multiple place values. So let's say we've got a number like uh, 4,444, right? How do I write this number? Ooh, that's tough. Um, we're gonna do it by place value. So you have to remember the subtraction rule, which is that numbers are one, uh, one idea. And so if we do each idea as a single number, I can write the number four, uh, Oh wait, whoops, I can't do 4,000. I don't know the Roman symbol for 10,000, or for 5,000. I'm sorry, we'll make this 3,000. Whoops. Yeah, I actually don't know that symbol. I've never, never taught higher than that. I'm not sure if they have one. All right, so what I could do is I would do 3,444. So first I would write M, M, M. That is the thousands place value. Next, I go to the hundreds place value, okay? Uh, and now I need to write the number 400. To write the number 400, I have the number 500 minus one, right? Because I can't put C four times in a row. So I'm just going to put C, D, right? That's one number, that's the 400th place value. Next, I'm going to go to the tens place value. How do I write the number 40? Well, I would have to do 10 minus, or 50 minus 10. What, oh wow, orange is way too close to red. Those cannot be next to each other. We'll go with purple. Okay, so purple. So how do I write 40? I'm going to put 10 subtracted from 50, right? So that's 40. And then the last one, the number four. <clears throat> Let's see here, what number will I use? Or what number, what color? What color, where is? No, I'll use black for this one, right? Uh, so then four, I will write I, V, okay? And technically it's supposed to have those bars above and below everything. Right? And that's how we would write the Roman numeral, or large Roman numeral numbers. We use place value, okay? So it's very helpful if you have to write large Roman numerals. Write it in Arabic numerals. Write it the way that you understand it, 
and do it one number at a time by place value. All right, so that's a place value rule. Uh, let's use this to help us find the answer to some difficult Roman numeral problems. <clears throat> let's see here. Uh, let's write the Roman numeral for uh, 764. This is a good one, right? We got to write the Roman numeral for 764. Now, here's the question. How do I write the number 700? Because we're going to use that place value rule. Well, 700 would be a 500 plus two 100s. Ta-da. I've just written the first place value. Now, we got to do 60. So, how do I write... How do I write 60? Well, that's going to be 50, which is L, plus 10. And then the last one, how do I write the number 4? Well, we already know that. That is IV. There we go. That's my answer. DCC LX IV. All right, so that place value will become very, very helpful as you get into bigger numbers. Now, let's do the opposite. Let's say, let's say our book gives us a Roman numeral number. And we have to decipher it. Okay, so let's decipher a place value at a time. Okay, uh, wow, this can get really, really confusing. Let's start from the, hmm, should we start from the right or the left? Well, if I look at the left, I can see that's 200. Okay, so I can go ahead and put a two there. Uh, these three X's, that's 30. So I'll put a three. And then I've got IX, that's 9, so 239. There we go. I got the answer. All right, so uh, that's it for Roman numerals. If you guys have any questions, let me know on the school website, and I will see you in class.